Hello. Let me adjust this thing. We had a little problem here. We're shooting from a, a mobile unit. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a travel, one of those gigantic, travel kits. Yeah, those big buses that we 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 bought. We bought that where in Kentucky. We need a lot a, of fried chicken. Yeah, it was it was it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but we we didn't count on how much it would cost in gas. Yeah, driver. <laughs> we, we didn't pay attention to that part. But we're living in Kentucky now because we can't afford the driving home. Yeah. So uh, something else that we're going to try to do. We're going to try to raise money. Well, we we both got dishwashing jobs here at the local diner. You know we. And the people at the diner, some start people, somewhere. and some people were looking through the window there past, you know, whatever the wait, the waitress's name is always Dottie. They look past old Dottie and they, they look in the kitchen there and they, they see us washing dishes. They go, is that Jackson and John from the Jackson and John Lake Knock and Mixon? All the way there in Kentucky, they, they've been watching us. So I want to thank everyone in Kentucky. And, you know, that when you're tipping the waitress, you know, you can also tip us, too. Just say, hey, this is for the dishwasher, too. And the waitress I know goes, I never heard of such a thing. I'll take it anyway. And, and like, just say, you no. never know. No, 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 no. You know, the people where you work, you you look down upon them because they might be doing something that you wouldn't do. Mm hmm And then you think, wow, the, you, just, you just don't judge people right away, you know. It's like being an artist. I, I, I would be a full-time artist, you know that? If it paid anything, really, you know, after it all said and done, right? So I just enjoy doing it for myself and, and and what have you. What we're doing here is kind of fun, too. So far, there's no jokes yet. So far, there's no jokes yet, I know. How about that? So, well, yeah. well just Jackson, you have any stories to tell? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of laid back right now because we have to wait. Let's see, the battery keeps the lights on for us. We don't worry about anything. You notice how we don't worry about anything? It's pretty cool that way. Yeah, because you, you never know. A messenger will come up, you know. So. Usually my, my friend Bill Clinton helps me out. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, yeah my dad's friends with Bill Clinton. So I'd call up Bill and, you know, Bill would... How you doing, John? I haven't heard from you in a while. How, you know, I feel your pain. You know, I, I can tell. Well, how can you tell, Bill? Because <laughs> the only time you call me is when you want some money. And I say, you're right, Bill. <laughs> you're right about that. That's why. That's why I'm calling you. Why else would I? I mean, you're, you're fucking weird, man. <laughs> that's not. Well, I guess that's pretty accurate. I don't lie anymore. I found it. it it's a lot better that way. You know, don't don't ask me about my wife, please. <laughs> don't don't even stop there. I don't. You know, she talks for herself. All right. Well, you know, the, you, know, you got to hand it to the guy. He really did a good job, and and he was impeached too. A lot of people don't know that. By yeah, the Trump, Trump, Trump could there, so. Trump could get in there again. You know. You know, like I said, if they have a if a nice guy, I mean, a really nice guy like 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 Bill Clinton, you know, can get all that trouble for just. He lied to Congress, you know. Well, he didn't commit tr treason, you know. He didn't commit. He just did something nasty with a girl, and then when he asked, when they asked about he it, he just goes, "Hey, define a word for me." But we learned the definition of defining words correctly because that's how I got in trouble when we were in Ireland. There, mm -hmm. coming home from what I had to get to the leprechaun dance, of course, you know the the. The one we laughed at him with. You know, you, you call, you know, what is a donkey? What is a hen? What is a rooster? And these, in this Irish place, the guy goes, no, we don't call them that here. They're, but you had to see the other blog to see that. But I'm, I'm telling you, you really, you know, words. But that Clinton used words there. You know, define, you know, adultery or whatever you call it. Define sex. That's what that was. Define sex. But that was an example of a, of a horrible thing. It was a big waste of time. And I certainly, I certainly know that there's a lot of people that feel it's a, the equal, an equal waste of time with this too. But there, there's the divide of, of what you know and what you think you know and what has been made known to you in, in an indoctrination of one sort or another. But I'm not saying if you disagree with me, you've been hypnotized. I just, uh, 
I just wonder about stuff, man. I, you know, I just look at well, well, actions of people. You know, that's probably Jackson's problem tonight. Fact: These things give you cancer. They do. How, how can something natural and green give you cancer? They're not natural. Oh, uh, they're a processed food. They say they're, they're natural, but they move Well, let me see. The, the one ingredient on there I thought I saw that one time there, which, how, they, how they give it the green color. and, and what, Oh, yeah, here it is in, under the preservatives. Roundup. They have Roundup in there. So that, that explains the cancer problem. But, but you know, that, that's just fake news. That's just fake news. You know, they're just picking Cancers. on it. Cancers. They're just picking on it. You know, next thing you know, they're just like, oh, the water. The water has some fire retardant in it, and it makes people die, you know? <laughs> you know, it makes them die. That year, there was you a know, lot of not, spontaneous When it happened explosions. in Chicago, we didn't give a sh You know, we didn't care what happened in Chicago. Oh, but no, when no, it no. happens here in our backyard, affecting people that we might know, they were thinking, oh, it's a real. it's real. It can't be fake news. Because I swear to God, uh, you know, it, it's even wells out where where I live, which is a distance from that naval air base. But it just goes to show you the need for whistleblowers, why they're important. I know, but there's there's carelessness everywhere, and sometimes it is ignorant carelessness. But that's what something like the EPA is all about, and and sending people out, you know, just to check check on different businesses and seeing how they comply. And then you put a man in charge who just wants to dissolve the whole thing. And <laughs> well, you know as well as I do, people can regulate themselves when it comes to business. And what's that? I have no idea, but they're good. I, I believe they're, they're caramel mixed with cornflakes. Caramel and cornflakes, believe it or not. That's a Beverly Hillbilly snack. That's what they ate at the Beverly Hillbillies. That's I'm making us some popcorn. And, Jackson, see, this isn't like that TV show where we have a, a butler named Mr. French. We, When we're not at home, we have to do all this stuff, you know. We have to do all this stuff. Did Mark we're not popcorn. allowed to have one of these? I don't recall, but I wouldn't touch it. Yes, indeedy, I wouldn't touch it. But that, that's what's going on here tonight. But nothing major is happening. You know, Banyan people haven't come at, come after us. They haven't recently anyway. I've been um, still writing my articles for the Washington Post, you know. What's that? No, they, they, don't, uh, they don't publish them, you know. No, I don't get paid for them either. I, I, I look at myself like, like on Spider-Man, you know, Peter Parker was like, I want to be the photographer. For this newspaper, is how I get into the business, you know, because I think I'm a reporter or something, but a photographer. But in any rate, I am writing the stories, but no pictures though. But like Spider Man, I got to be patient, you know. I got to be patient for my chance. But um, so you just keep writing and doing what you enjoy. No, I don't get paid for it. No, it's just something. I got a lot of free time, you know. That's all. I do work for a living, though. I got to tell you that. I do do it, and I enjoy what I do. It's really, it really is. Believe it or not, I'd be more stressed in life if I if if I didn't have it. I, if I didn't have that job, I'd be more stressed. It's something that I could use my mind and overcome challenges. Oh, look at this! Here's the popcorn. Let's see if it's true. If you if it opens it up and it burns the first layer of your face, your <laughs> skin off, we'll see. Jackson's gonna see, but you know it's it's nice what? you're gonna it's nice you're gonna show us that, but I don't know. We do have insurance, so there you go. We do? <laughs> I may, we're not sure. I wouldn't burn myself right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know who invented popcorn, you know? Albert uh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. You know? Same principle of the atom bomb was, if I can do this to a kernel of corn, <laughs> I can kill billions of people in one shot with one of my bombs. <laughs> Why am I talking like Ronald Reagan? I don't know. Every, well, well, there I go again. Every once in a while, I'm so sensitive as a, well, as a psychic, that I just go off and I, well, I just do it again and again. I just take over this person's body and I, well, 
There I, again, there I go again. I just wanted to let people know, because he's doing a blog, whatever you call that, right? Whatever, uh, you know. I wanted to give President Trump my advice. Well, I like your style there, there, buckaroo. I really like that style. How you get out of trouble is you just, well, you, you just say, I didn't do it, but I won't do it again. <laughs> if they fall for it, well, well, every time. I just wanted to check into the medium here and let you know that. Maybe you'll be, I will, I don't know, watching everybody's reporting on you because you're that paranoid. Well, well I'm, glad, I'm glad I wasn't paranoid. Well, I didn't see that shot coming there. I'll tell you, well, <laughs> no one predicted that for me. Your damn astrology, mummy, doesn't work. Well, <laughs> well, Jackson's coming back with his snack. He, he's like a shark. Well, I'll tell you, what did I, did I get... Uh, did I get possessed again by Reagan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just came back to say hi. And, uh, oh, okay. Good. Say he, um, congratulations to Trump. Oh, there you go. See, they're both Republicans. And both I consider the perfect puppets. It's like I said in another episode. If, if I was voted president, I would do a fine job because I'm not the one doing anything. They would just tell me what to say. And I'll do it like Clinton, too. And they, hey, I know the hurricane hit you. FEMA's out of business since the last you the last administration. I'm so cool. They they elected me for five the fifth term. Cause I feel the pain. There you go. That's that's what that's how angry some people can be about how things are are just not great again. I don't know. What makes things great again, I think, is everyone's personal responsibility in this wonderful democracy. And I'm not talking about voting. You know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, their volunteerism and, you know, just paying attention to some things that, you know, shouldn't be. I always ask myself, should I be seeing this in the, the, the wealthiest, strongest country in the world that can't take care of the least of us? Or, 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 or put some kind of a yardstick of value to the least of us? Now, this is not the least of the least, but it's the least because at least he does is not an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> And the least of the, but they're in the same place in need, but you know, you just start going, well, I'm not going to help them if you know. <laughs> but that's not up to us. That's not up to us. Because we're not there. We don't know. Mm -hmm. God don't make trash. That's what I mean. You just don't jump to a conclusion about helping if you, if that's what your mindset's at. But sounds like you're just the kind of Christian that does only what you do to get a pat on your back and make sure other Christians notice it. You know, hey, I did that. Oh, I did that. You know, that's not what we want to be, you know. We get our reward by, hey, don't you feel good when you do something nice for somebody? Yeah. Don't you just feel good? I always felt that you put a price tag on that, you can't. Cause you feel a lot, it at the heart. You right, know? you're feeling hard. And if you're not, if you're not, a, if you're not there, you're also going to go through life knowing the cost of everything, but not knowing the value of it. And now I'm talking about commercial items to the value to your heart, you know, what your whatever would make your heart's content with. You're not going to... You're going to know what it costs, that's all, and you're all going to be preoccupied. But if you look at the value of everything, it just kind of narrows things down, you know, like truth. Truth is narrowed through a, an eye of a needle that it can't, you know. I'm telling you, it, it's a, it's an easier path the other way when you don't think things through. Or learn how to look around them, you know, just, you know, but we get preoccupied with things like that. I get carried away sometimes, I don't know. I don't know. Was there anything else, Jackson? Because uh, there's well, a low, low key one. We got um, we got twelve days. Yeah, you got the twelve day off thing. Twelve days off, guys. Good job pushing through those people who went to school every day. I'm I know I did. Cool. I'm sorry, I get carried away. My friend Juan Valdez, he works on one of my farms. He's the one who picks this beautiful Colombian beans for the coffee. Just said, it makes me, I look marvelous, marvelous. I'll tell you, you need, every time I go down, you look, you look marvelous, marvelous. That Juan Valdez, that's a cool dude. You, you look marvelous, marvelous. I said, well, what happened to the farm, you know? Oh, they, they tore it down. Why don't, why don't you call me? And this is millions of dollars, you know? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It'll be, it'll be ready in no time. Okay, I'm not going to worry. <coughs> Yeah, so that that's that's my other businesses there. The co I love coffee. I, I you know I just 
Yeah, yeah. It's not the original Juan Valdez. That guy must be uh, 200 years old. I'm, I'm sure he's still working, though. You know, and that and that donkey, which we learned, you know, the Irish people call them asses. He has the big two sacks of those beans. Can you imagine just getting, getting some nice coffee beans like that, you know, and grind them up that fresh? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. And they got the best beans, too. For a long time, America never got the beans. They got beans, but they didn't get the best. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of South American companies. We're kind of kind of angry at the way we do business there. So they, they did deals with us, but we didn't get the best. It all went to Europe, all the good coffee. That's where they all get those, you know, stories about how good their coffee is. Like in Italy, for instance, you know. But they, they Italy gets theirs from uh, the uh, South African and no, not South Africa, North Africa, and, and, and a lot of area there in the Mediterranean. They, they they can they can have a good bean bean production there. It's not all the same terrain. If you see these guys, arabica burn beans them. are cold. Yeah. Burn them. Yeah, you got to be careful what you're eating with the synthetic products that are in there. Yeah, it, but it's the store brand, so don't pick on them, man. Oh no, it's a, a fruit round, round, fruit roundup. This is a, we're cheap bastards. <laughs> well, hey, well you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, when you see a when you see a parrot eating them, you know it's good. You know, Birds it's good. aren't real. They're not real. I well, I, I think they're real. Why do you think uh, parrots repeat everything you say? Because they they think they're being clever. No, no, no. I just, uh, you know what I don't understand? How do they do that without lips? How are they exactly. talking without lips? Exactly. You know, you're right. They might be. They're demons. just drones. They're just drones. Right. There's a microphone in there. And behind behind the microphone is, you know, probably the alt right. Yeah, the alt right people like with these little special shirts. I'm I'm wearing one of the shirts that they're wearing. They're trying to control the, the world. This is the top of their uniform now. See if a. People of some generation can recognize this uniform shirt. This is an actual uniform shirt. Now picture, you know, a leather belt, a leather belt strap here. The leather, you know, that that's that's basically we we beat up one of them, and I, you know, of course, I washed it and pressed it and everything. But this is, I got myself an, a, a neo-Nazi uniform shirt, so that's pretty cool. So, all right, Jackson, was there any anything else? No, this no. is that knock and mixing yet, sir. I was going to say, have a good night. Have a good night, everyone. Like it and subscribe. Yes, Share this yeah. with your friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, a little low-key one tonight, but you know, sometimes. And birds are not real. Spread the word. Birds aren't real? Birds are not real. Mm -hmm. Especially the parrots. You got to watch out. Watch out. Look it up, man.